Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host, Jason Turner. I am available for code reviews, contracting, and on-site training. In the last episode, I promised that I was going to revisit this concept of inheriting from lambdas. If you did not watch the last episode, I do suggest that you go back and watch it to gain a better understanding as to what exactly a lambda is and why it is possible to inherit from one. Now, when I last talked about inheriting from lambdas, this is effectively the code that I left off with. I had some sort of visitor that was a struct that used variadic templates to inherit from a set of lambdas, and then I have this constructor that initializes all of the base classes, and I'm using variadic using, which was a feature added in C++17 to be able to actually import all of the operator parens into my local space. And then using all of this, I'm able to construct a visitor, and I can pass this into my visit function here, and we can actually see you know, what the compiler is going to do. So if we return this visit, you now I am casting this thing to an int here, and I have d plus 3.4, and the value that I am initializing this with here is 9.0, so we expect 3.4 to be added to this, which is be 12.4, and expect that to be truncated to an int, so we expect that main is going to return 12. And I've set up my local compiler explorer to be able to execute our functions, and we can in fact see that 12 is returned from main. And more interestingly, if we don't actually set up to actually execute, we can see that the compiler has managed to compile this entire thing away to just move 12 into EAX, and that's pretty good. But I said I was going to revisit this issue, and it's because I've never been terribly satisfied with a few things about this particular version. Now let's just say, hypothetically, we wanted to make our visitor const expr, and if you recall in the last episode, there's no reason why we shouldn't be able to do this, because our lambdas are all things that can be used in a const expr context. So I have this const expr visitor, but I'm getting a compile time error. And that is because my constructor is not const expr. But as soon as we add const expr to this, we are then faced with the question of, well, should our constructor be no except? And this is an interesting question. It should be potentially conditionally no except if all of the base classes can be moved in a no except way. And that becomes something like I, lots more words than it probably should be. Something like is there we go. So if we do something like this fold expression over the and and uh, operator and say if all these are no throw move constructible then this should be no except this all becomes just tedious and we wonder why we're even doing this but we need to remember that c17 added more aggregate initialization features aggregate initialization of base classes specifically and i actually covered this in an episode quite prior to the last time that i talked about inheriting from lambdas, but I didn't think about it. So for this case, we can just remove the constructor altogether, and we get the exact same behavior without having to worry about any of this forwarding or moving or what's the efficient way to construct this thing. So that's great. And this can be used in a const expert context, and we are almost all the way there to what I would consider to be the ideal case. Now we have just one other thing to deal with. And that is this decay t here. This is completely meaningless. We are taking these parameters by value. And this was pointed out to me by uh, someone on Twitter recently. So we take out the decay t here. And now our C17 deduction guide is quite a bit more simple than it used to be. And if we were using um, Clang format, it probably would have just merge it down onto one line here. And this is so much better in pretty much every way that I am aware of. Now, we could 
So I think this pretty much sums up where I wanted to be. I have gotten rid of the constructor entirely, which has solved all of the questions of whether or not these things are no except or const expr. And I have removed the use of dkt where it was not necessary. And I am getting the exact same behavior that I was while adding const expr ability. And so this is, um, this is good. And I think visit itself can be const expr. So we're able to visit in a const expr context, and we're able to do all this at a const expr time with our const expr variant. I would say this is just a win-win-win everywhere, significantly less code. So be thinking about this. Think if this solution that I'm working on looks very complicated, perhaps you should take a step back and see if there's a simpler solution. And I think this is the, the ultimately uh, reduced case for how we can take advantage of C17 to use a feature like this for creating a visitor and inheriting from our lambdas. So thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and follow me on Twitter.